I tell you, braces can change the appearance of your teeth and your face. <laughs> I'm Dr. Akila and welcome back to Brace Yourself where I talk about braces and all things related. Have you ever heard of something like this? I got one pen uh, only one. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Uh, after she did braces, huh, her face will become so different, you know? If I also do braces, huh, then my face becomes pretty, yeah. Because huh, I tend to become the K-pop idol on in three years, huh? 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 Everyone knows braces make your teeth look better. But face? How does braces change it? To answer this question, we first have to understand the three classifications of facial profile. Class 1. This is when your upper and lower jaw are in proper relation. When you put your finger like this, your first finger should sit slightly in front of your second finger. Class 2. This is when your upper jaw sits far forward than your lower jaw like Bart Simpson. Class 3. This is when your lower jaw sits far forward than your upper jaw like Popeye the Sailor Man. People with class 2 or class 3 profile will usually look quite different after their orthodontic or braces treatment once their teeth and jaw relations have been corrected. Now, can braces affect our lips? Our lips rest on our teeth and jawbone. This is called lip support. In cases where patients have black teeth or increased overjet, like Matthew Lewis from Harry Potter, changing the position of the upper front teeth are able to change the position of the lips, thus the overall appearance. If you have an underbite where your lower lip sits far forward than your upper lip, like Calvin Harris, correcting the alignment of your teeth is able to help create a more youthful appearance as you see your lower lip slightly behind your upper lip, which is the way it's supposed to be. But braces does not change the shape or the fullness of your lips. It can, however, create an illusion of lip change when the position of lips are altered. Some patients might have deep bite or open bite problems. When you have deep bite, your upper teeth is overlapping excessively over your lower teeth. Your face might look shorter, like a chipmunk. As your deep bite is being corrected, your face will be restored start to a proper length. When you have an open bite, your teeth are unable to meet even when you close your jaws. Your face might appear longer and your mouth might appear stretched. As your open bite is being corrected, your face will no longer look long and most importantly, you're able to bite and eat with ease. Uh, but I heard huh, if you want to do braces, uh, you have to take it off. A few moments later. If I did up this body then, uh, if I don't want the extraction, but I want to do the braces then. Uh. To decide if you need to extract teeth for your oral treatment, we first need to assess if there is crowding. Crowding means your teeth have no concept of social distancing and are tightly squeezed against one another. Trying to align teeth on a crowded arch is kind of like trying to fit four people on a two-seat sofa. They might overlap each other. To enable proper seating, we will need to remove a few people. Same goes to your teeth. To allow proper teeth alignment on a crowded arch, we might need to extract certain tooth to create space. However, in certain cases, instead of extraction, we can try to expand the arch to correct crowding. That's kind of like stretching the sofa so that more people can fit in. To extract or not to extract also depends on the system of braces that you're using. To learn more about various types of braces, check out this video, link in the description. That's all for today. If you love to learn about dental stuff, do hit that subscribe button and follow me for more. On the next episode of Brace Yourself, we will be discussing if you are too old for braces. That's all for me today. I'm Dr. Kila and I'll see you next time. Bye!